viewers should consult a professional before adopting any of the training techniques in this program. Any activity you do with your dog is at your own risk and may produce varied results. Tonight on Caesar 911, Caesar's in Singapore. Are you ready for Caesar Milan? On a mission to teach dog owners how to be leaders of their pack. Coming up, Caesar takes on a couple so scared of their dangerous dog. You never know when you snap. They've locked him in their apartment for a year. Yoshi is like a prisoner. Yoshi, stop it. Almost like he lives in a cave. What happens to this dog when Caesar sets him free? If Caesar cannot fix Yoshi, I don't know who else can. Will he be a prisoner redeemed? Hey. That's better. Or a terror set free. Hey! This is Caesar 911. Today, Caesar is called to the scene of a crime, a neighborhood dog park, where a local dog launched a vicious attack. <laughs> He meets with whistleblower Jay, the dog owner's neighbor. Hi, Caesar. How are you, man? I'm doing good. Welcome to Singapore. Thank you. So, how can I help you? Yes. Um, as you know, this is our neighborhood, our yeah. dog park. We have a community of dog lovers, and I have a neighbor. Yeah. And her dog is aggressive. He's pretty dangerous. The first time that I met Yoshi, over at the dog park, he was really lunging and uh, snarling and barking. <laughs> so it seems that he's pretty aggressive, and that's um, dangerous because you never know when uh, he will snap and probably injure one of the kids in the neighborhood. Over at the dog park, I saw him with other dogs. <laughs> But my neighbor saw that they immediately pull him back, and I've not seen him since. As far as I know, Yoshi has not left the apartment for more than a year. I think currently Yoshi is like a prisoner, and frankly, I wonder what kind of life is it for a dog. That was pretty shocking to me to know that uh, a poor little dog who has not gone outside for a year. Almost like he lives in a cave and he doesn't have any social skills. What he's been told is to fear the world. It just makes me happy looking at all the dogs roaming around and I want Annabelle and Yoshi and Evan with their baby to be able to join us here mm -hmm. every day. In order to observe their dog Yoshi's behavior, Caesar has arranged for Annabelle and Ethan to walk Yoshi out of their apartment for the first time in a year while Caesar watches. Now we're gonna see where the owners are. Caesar has his assistant walk by to see how Yoshi responds. We got Yoshi uh, when he was a puppy. It's really love at first sight when we saw him. And the day when we brought him home, it was the best moment in my life because I've always wanted to have a pet. And he, he's just the perfect one. When Yoshi was six months old, we realized that uh, Yoshi seems to be different. Uh, he's no longer as friendly towards my family. And when I brought him out for a walk, he also starts to bark at uh, whoever he meets. Yoshi, stop it! And even want to charge at them, especially other dogs. When we try to pull him back, uh, he's, he will turn around and bite us. When we first brought Yoshi to the dog park, he tried to attack many dogs. Uh, and we were forced to leave the dog park. 
I don't know how to tame him. I don't know how to manage him. So uh, I have no choice but to lock him up in the house. Yoshi hasn't been out of our apartment for a year. I can't describe how heartbreaking it, it is for me. We have a baby boy. His name is Adas, and he is 10 months old. Adas is not crawling yet, but uh, he may start to crawl any moment from now. And I'm afraid that once he starts to crawl, Yoshi may treat him like another dog and start to attack him. I always imagine that perfect moment in my mind. The four of us going out together and having fun together. But I don't know when would that ever happen. So sorry. Put the leash down. So right, so right. I did it. You have to learn to put the leash on it properly. I would say that most leashes and collars are used incorrectly. So I like to use my sleep collar because it's easier to put all the way on top of the neck and doesn't put any tension and allows me to guide the dog at ease. Okay, here, show you how to walk a dog. You're, you're walking a dog like this, so you're pretty much have like a gun, right? So you're setting him up to go and attack people. When you hold the leash with tension, that tension travels to the leash, which triggers the brain, which that's what causes the dog to attack. You go over there, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna be you, and you're gonna be me. All right. Okay? Todd, go back. Caesar has his assistant, Todd, repeat his walk past Yoshi to demonstrate to the owners how to walk by without incident. So here, he's already out of the house. Let's move forward. So here's the guy right here. I'm gonna choose this way, look. So instead of me putting myself against the wall and putting my dog in front of the other human and then pull back, which that makes my dog protect me, I just did this. Most people walk like this. The dog is in front, the human is in the back, and they're pulling the leash, or they grab the leash like this. See, this is tension, look at This is relaxation. Yeah, he's not barking. That's right. Good news is you don't have an aggressive dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the good news. You don't have an aggressive. What you have is a dog that is unsure. Yoshi is unsure because he never had a pack leader that teach him how to behave. When Yoshi had that fight at the dog park, nobody told him no, that that was wrong. They locked him up in the apartment for a year like he was in prison without any knowledge of how to be in the outside world. I'd be scared and confused too. So every time he misbehaved, you walked away. Yeah. Right. And when we don't know what to do, sometimes we, we choose the wrong reaction, which mm. is flight. Right? We are, we are running away from the situation and start confronting the situation, right? What Annabelle and Avon has done in the past is they just completely avoid or they run away from Yoshi's problem. But they actually have to confront these problems when it happened, otherwise Yoshi will never get better. I want them to start small. I just want them to stay calm. I want them to pass my assistant, just like I told them. Your turn. Okay, stay calm. That's right. Go ahead. Without any alcohol or anything. You know? okay. <laughs> alcohol makes you relax, but too relaxed. <laughs> I was still very nervous Yoshi would bite Caesar's assistant. But I tried to remember what Caesar taught me. If I relax the leash, then I relax and Yoshi relaxes. Beautiful. That's it. Don't you feel relaxed? Look at the yeah, smile. I feel That's relaxed. right. I feel sort of confidence because I know he's calm. That's amazing. Yep. Dogs are amazing. That's why I work with them. <laughs> <laughs> Humans, you sometimes. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yes. You are physically controlling, now mentally. Now you have the mind. 
Mm. So the body follows. So even if you have a 300 pound dog, if you put the leash there and your energy that way, you control the whole entire body. Caesar taught Annabelle how to stay calm with no tension on the leash and walk by his assistant successfully. And Avon does just as well. That's right, you're in control, that's better. See the difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's when, you, that's when you give affection. Absolutely, you should be very proud of that. Annabelle and Avon did really good passing Todd. Now I need to see how they do around other dogs. Yoshi, you ready, buddy? I'm going to introduce you to Singapore. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's, let's take them. Yes. Caesar pushes Annabelle and Avon to confront their fears and bring Yoshi outdoors for the first time in an entire year. He brings them to the place they fear most, the community dog park. One year ago, at this same park, Yoshi attacked and has been locked in their apartment ever since. We didn't know what to expect because yeah. uh, it's been a year since we brought Yoshi out, so we were quite nervous. Hey. Hey. Right there. That's not allowed. What is allowed for him to look at them? That's what is allowed. So you stay right here. I want you to stay here. Yeah? We were scared because he might fight another dog. Hey! Annabelle and Avon's dog Yoshi has been locked in their apartment for a year. Since he attacked a dog at their local dog park, Caesar makes immediate progress with the couple around humans. Beautiful. That's it. But wants to see how Yoshi behaves around other dogs. He brings Yoshi and the couple outdoors for the first time in a year. Back to the dog park where Yoshi first attacked. At that moment, my heart just stopped because my greatest worry seems to happen. He bites another dog. Joshi went after the poodle. I need to correct him immediately so he knows that was wrong. What a foot tap is, is a light touch. What it does is it snaps the brain and the body from an aggressive state. This is not a hard touch. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to snap a dog's brain from an unwanted state. The owner's never really correcting him in this situation, and that's why he's still acting out. So what I gotta do now is follow through, get him into a calm submissive state, otherwise he will never learn. Hold on. Stop. The attack looked bad, but it gave me the opportunity to correct Joshi. Once I snapped the brain out of his aggression, I followed through by sitting him down and waiting until he gives me total calm submission. Then I nurture the state with affection. This way he associates calm with affection. This is how he learns to not bite. Finally, someone is telling him how to behave. He just had no idea before. Okay. Let me check on you, buddy. Now, when you go in and, um, and assist the dog that your dog just aggravated, you can't feel like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because then, then you're passing the wrong energy. Because that only scares him. You can apologize, but 
If you give him a massage, that actually relaxes him better. The puto was fine, and the owner needs to see that not every fight is as bad as it looks. Caesar makes sure his correction takes hold by observing whether or not Yoshi attacks again. Right there, look. That's better. This dog is ready to learn. He just needs someone to teach him. He didn't attack the second time because I told him the first time that was wrong. He was just never told before. He has to learn not to do it, but in order for him to learn not to do it, he actually has to do it. And after we correct it. And I was quite surprised after the attack, Caesar wants your shit to snap to another dog, but he's not showing the aggressiveness that I anticipate might happen. Now that Caesar is confident his correction took hold, he does the unthinkable. He places the victim of the attack right in front of the attacker. Very good. The good thing that happened between Yoshi and the little brown poodle is that they learn how to deal with each other. Because at one point, Yoshi and the little dog came this far to each other. And the little dog said, OK, what you want is respect. So that's what he learns. He learns to not, not hurt him. I couldn't describe the shock. Caesar actually placed Buddha in front of Yoshi, and he did not bite. It's really amazing. What the owners really need is a lesson on pack leadership 101. When Joshi misbehaved in the past, Annabelle and Evan never really corrected him like all pack leaders must do. They just removed them and locked them up in the apartment for a year. So Joshi was absolutely confused. He has no idea how to behave because no one really taught him. If Annabelle and Evan learn how to correct Joshi and follow through, Joshi will learn how to behave around dogs and people. Maybe you guys can come to my home here. I will bring him actually with more excited dogs. Because okay. the excited dogs want to do this, like, can, can we play? Oh, and yeah. that will make him go, ah, rah, rah, and I will address it every single time. Okay. He needs that. Caesar brings Yoshi and the couple to his Singapore training home, where he will use his personal pack to push Annabelle and Avon to be the pack leaders Yoshi needs to stop his violent attacks. Let's get your boy out. All right, I want to see you guys getting him out. How would you do it? Avon is not assertive, so Joshua has no reason to follow his orders. Avon has told me that he's a personal trainer, so I want to tap into that side of his personality. Watch this. Watch. So what's happening here is you both are sharing soft energy, mm, right? right? But yours is softer than his. That's why he pulls in. You're, right now, just don't think of you being Joshi's owner. Think you being a trainer. A good trainer makes you do all the way. Yes. Yoshi. No? Do you see how you did? Hi. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, you're a, you're a personal trainer. You're going to be way more affected when you're acting from a work point of view than when you're acting from a dog owner point of view. Because dog owners become soft, and trainers become motivational. Yeah. Since I'm a personal trainer, Caesar taught us to wherever we apply in our life, we can apply it to the dog. So always be firm. All right, let's go. That's right, that's right. Let's go. Come here, come here. Caesar is in the middle of a rescue with Annabelle, Avon, and their dog, Yoshi. But while in Singapore, he also hosted a seminar to help locals with their most troubling training problems. His first case is with a dog that can't help running after moving objects. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. No. 
So what is his goal? What does he do? No, he will, he will try to bite the trolley. Let me see. Yeah, so I, I pull him back. And... I think you gotta keep moving. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. no, father. He wants to bite him too. So... And, and then what do you do? Uh, I'll try to walk the other way. <laughs> we did try to tell him no, but he doesn't listen to us. The problem that they having is they're trying to control a dog with a harness. So what that does to the dog is he feels the pressure on the chest, and the only thing he wants is to pull forward. So the owners, they pull back, and that only increases the dog moving towards the objects. If you simply use a leash that you put over his head, that releases the tension. After that, the owner just needs to relax, and the dog will just relax. Trolley time. So here. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> What's different? It's no longer pulling and that's right. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Go right there. Left Caesar, Annabelle and Avon's dog Yoshi attacked right in front of him. Caesar needs to give the couple a crash course in leadership, so he brings them to his Singapore training home to push them to work on their leadership skills around his personal pack. But before they can even get inside, Caesar can see that they are in trouble. If everyone wants me to teach him to be a better pack leader to Joshi, not so tentative, he needs to be more assertive and at least do a better job getting him out of the car. One more time. Come on, give me a good one. You gotta do the whole thing. Okay. okay let's go. Come here, come here. Beautiful, beautiful. What's the difference? There's no hesitation. <laughs> yeah. Are you seeing it now? Yep. I'm yeah. seeing it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Caesar wants to work with the couple on the lessons they learned from correcting Yoshi in the dog park. To push them to confront their fears, Caesar uses his pack of dogs. So here we have an awesome pack outside. We're gonna stay right here. There you go. We're gonna see how he reacts. He's good. He wants to smell. That's good. He's curious. So we got that part really good. We're gonna put the muscle on so when, when everybody comes to smell and he goes to bite another dog, we're gonna prevent that from happening. The last time I tried to put it on for him, mm -hmm. he kept scratching it off. Most dogs, I would say 9 out of 10, they don't like it because it's foreign. Yeah. It's a foreign thing, you know? They have to get used to it. Yoshi trashed around when I put the muscle on, and it's okay for him to get rid of his energy that way. I need to shake it out, calm down before I introduce him with the rest of the dogs. That way, the muscle will be associated with always being calm. So before it gets good, it gets bad. There you go. This is his worst. There you go. So, but you see, we have to wait for this. We didn't just went into the dog park until our dog was calm. Um, okay. We always gave up putting on the muzzle for your sheep because he would fight it. Now we are learning that if we are strong and... want it because we can only correct Joshi as soon as he latches out. <laughs> Whether it's my hand or my foot, I use the same light tap to snap the brain from an aggressive state. That's leadership. There you go, the sniffing. There you go, he learned to tolerate that. Yeah. yeah. Once the dogs move away, I'm gonna let Yoshi off the leash so Yoshi can now uh, walk around like everybody else with the muscle on still. Now we got him. 
We take this off. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hey. And then we correct that. Hey. Hey. No. There you go, right there. So that's the follow through. Remember what we did in the dog park? That's the same thing. It's all about repetition. We did the same thing when he did the first attack at the dog park. He got into a fight, I corrected him, and then I sat him down and brought him into a calm state. The owners need to do this themselves. Otherwise, Yoshi will never know what they want from him. He needs to learn that they don't want him to attack. Follow through. You gotta follow through. Beautiful. Good job. Nice. Very important. Good timing. Evan did great. He did the right correction at the right time and he followed through. But the real test is to see if Evan correct works when another dog approaches. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. See? He's taller. That's right. He is, he's holding himself back. That's communication. That was great. I caught the Yoshi like how Caesar had taught me, and he did not attack when the next dog came near his face. Caesar and the couple have made a lot of progress with Yoshi's muzzle on. Now, Caesar wants to see if the dog has learned enough not to lash out when his muzzle is off. The last time he had his muzzle off, he attacked. After the muzzle was took off from Yoshi, we were quite worried. We was we were still a bit scared. His problem is when they come to his shoulder and his face. Caesar uses his training home to replicate a dog park and challenge Annabelle and Avon to be leaders. Hey. By correcting their dog in the proper moment and following through. There we go. Beautiful. Good job. Now, Caesar pushes them to the next level and removes Yoshi's muzzle. The last time Yoshi had his muzzle off around other dogs, he attacked. When Caesar told us to take the muzzle off, we don't know whether he will do any aggression towards the other dogs. Come this way, follow me. Just walk, just walk. His problem is when they come to his shoulder and his face. There you go, that was good, that was really good. It's all about repetition. The corrections we make work. When another dog approached Yoshi, he stayed calm and he didn't attack. We told him what we wanted from him and he finally understood. That's leadership 101. After the muzzle was took off from Yoshi, seeing him still remain calm, it's really amazing and wonderful to see that. Caesar now focuses on their most dire situation. He needs the couple to use their newfound leadership skills to ensure Yoshi does not harm their 10-month-old baby. Please sit down. We, let's talk a little about the baby. If you have any concern, is it anything you you want to talk about? Mm, actually, we are totally clueless about how to like handle dogs when it comes to baby, mm -hmm. and we are really very worried because our baby is starting to crawl very to crawl. soon, uh -huh. and he's so small. It's just like a small breed dog. Yeah, I'm afraid that like Yoshi may mistaken him mm -hmm. as another 
dog and attack him. A good exercise to work with the baby is working with the dog and the stroller. The dog relates the stroller with the baby and it follows the strollers, which it makes the baby the pack leader. And the dog will never try to attack his pack leader. I decided to use a teddy bear just to practice to be safe. Joshi, we're gonna go take the baby for a walk. Sit down, you prepare yourself. So this way he learns that when the stroller comes out, he goes right next to you. Ah, oh, okay. This is actually gonna be the most important activity for Joshi. And that's how the baby is gonna become so important in his life because he is following the baby. See, the baby is the pack leader. And so in his mind, he learns to follow the pack leader. And this is also really good for him because he learned to respect the stroller. He's moving away from the stroller. Now it's Annabelle's turn. This exercise is crucial for her to ensure her baby is safe around Yoshi. All right, let's practice the stroller since you're gonna be doing a lot more stroller, you know? Yeah. Do your thing, just do your mom thing, you know, put in the baby, put in the baby and the stroller, all the steps that, that, that are required. Season makes it look so easy, but I know that Yoshi is frightened by the stroller at home, so I'm a little worried that Yoshi is going to act out. I like that, he's curious, like what's happening up there. Now let's go for a walk. Then don't focus on the dog. You focus on pushing the stroller. The strength is not on focusing the dog. The strength is on focusing moving forward. Mm, okay. Because you, you push like this versus like, you see? <laughs> You're yeah. focusing on the dog. Then, then, then you don't have no control. Mm. But if you grab the stroller and move forward, poof, you have a absolute control. Once again, Annabelle started pretty soft. She was worried about the dog too much. But this exercise is critical. She needs to stay calm and assertive and establish her baby as a pack leader. That's the best way to protect him. Okay, let's try it. There we go, right there. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it. Stop, and then you put the brakes. That's it, that's it. Annabelle followed my advice and she did a perfect job. Caesar is pleased with how Annabelle performed the exercise with the stuffed animal. But the true test is when Caesar asks Annabelle to bring out her actual baby. So when I first uh, brought baby Ada's out, I'm just so scared. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, and I don't know what will happen. And Yoshi may attack him, like how he attacked other dogs. I want to see the reaction. Caesar is in the middle of working with Yoshi and Annabelle's baby Adis. But while in Singapore, Caesar made an effort to help as many dogs and owners as possible. This golden retriever is so overly excited on leash that his owner can't control him, even for a simple walk. You know they don't give napkins in, in Singapore. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now do me a favor. Change the position of the chuck chain to the top. Yeah? No. To, no, to the whole top, all the way. Here. Oh, okay, okay. All the way. There you go, go right there. Here, let me have it. It's important to put the leash all the way in the top of the neck. Why? Because that gives you more control. That way you can guide the dog anywhere you want. So now when you give the correction, at the moment the dog gets excited, it will help you snap the brain out of it at that second. Ultimately, the dog mind calms down. You can even take him for a walk, which is something that the owner could never do. So now we're gonna use the human as an obstacle course. Right there. There you go. Excuse me? Right there. Sure. So 
than approaching people. So you never allow the brain to get to that reaction. So here she learns to pay attention to you and not anything else. There's one finger that's actually walking this dog. I'm going here. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you might do it? Yeah. You think, you think you will? See, now we got that excited. Uh, yeah. Don't look at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust and lead the pack. Go. Just do exactly what I did. A little bit more relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. There you go. Stop. Up. There you go. <laughs> Caesar works with the couple on keeping their baby safe. Their baby will be crawling soon and face to face with their dangerous dog, Yoshi. Although Yoshi was calm when Annabelle practiced walking with the stuffed animal, there's no guarantee he'll remain calm when he sees the real baby, 10-month-old Adis. You bring, bring him here. I want to see the reaction. There you go. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, this is it's fantastic. It's perfect. Since we've been correcting Josh's behavior, he's learned a lot. So now he knows what's expected of him. Now he knows that his owners want him to become and not to bite. And the baby did a great job too. He just ignored Joshi. This right here is how you're supposed to greet a dog. No touch, no touch, no eye contact. <laughs> yeah, a baby is telling us how to do it. That's exactly how it should be done. Annabelle and Avon have been very good students. Everything I taught them have been able to follow through and achieve on their own. And the proof is right here with Joshi, calm and submissive. Now Annabelle needs to walk her real baby, Adis, in the stroller next to Yoshi. Oh, he's just up in the fan. He's like a daredevil. He's like a daredevil. <laughs> he likes to do that. Annabelle practiced this exercise with a stuffed animal and was able to establish her position as pack leader. But using her real baby is the true test. Shall we go for a walk? <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> I like it, it's different. Look, even Joshi got much more inspired. <laughs> There you go. Good job. When I did the walk again with Adas in the baby pram, it makes me even more certain that oh, everything is going to be good. Everything is going to be okay because the pram will always be in front. Yoshi will be at the side following. So it's like teaching Yoshi to know that oh, uh, he, he will be a follower for my baby. Annabelle really stepped up. You know, she stayed assertive, also relaxed when she walked the baby, and she made sure that Joshi was following her. He treated her and the baby like pack leaders. I really wish all my students were the same. One of the things that I know you would like is to see is going back to the dog park, and that's exactly where we're gonna meet each other again. Yep. Sure. Good. Sure. Tomorrow is Caesar's last but most important training session with Annabelle and Avon. He needs to see if they've become strong enough pack leaders to face their worst fears and discipline Yoshi if he acts out again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes. Today we know that Caesars will be coming for our final training. That's not a bad bark. That's just an alert bark. We have some important goals to reach today, and we're going to start with taking the whole family on a walk together. Ready for the big day? There you yes. go. Coming out, people. We hope that uh, we will be able to go out for a walk as a family of four. How are you, ma'am? Yes, my mom. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you. Come on out. 
please. There you go. Very good. You walk in him very well. I'm very proud. Oh, traffic, traffic. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Finally. Yeah, let's go for our family walk. Yeah. It's always been my dream for this to happen. Yeah. We can go for a walk together. There you go, romantic walks. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah. Exercise discipline, romantic. See? Romantic. Very good. How are you feeling? Great. That's right. Awesome. It's a really amazing experience because it's the first time we are out together as a family. But we have to go back to the dog park at I'm just so scared. What if Yoshi attack another dog? This is it. This is this is the moment of truth. Before we go into the park, I want Annabelle and Evan to go through the steps I taught them. And that starts with the muscle. There you go. Very good. That's right. He's using the steps, sitting down. Muscle means calm. Very good. And my suggestion is I never bring babies into dog park because most of the dogs are going to be in an excited state, jumping and the whole barking. So if we can leave, uh, you know, my friend with grandma, that will be awesome. Sure, I'll leave him with Yeah, yes. How are you feeling? How are you feeling now? From the day, from the first day we came in, now, this is the, the, the date of the moment of yeah. truth. How are you feeling? I'm still a bit scared, but just try to relax myself and don't think about it. Don't think about the consequences. That's right. I will watch. And you guys go in and help each other. We be. There we go. The last time they came to the park, Yoshi attacked another dog. <laughs> and Caesar was there to step in. This time, Caesar sends Annabelle and Avon in on their own, and whistleblower Jay is there to see if they've made progress. Yeah. Hi, Jay. Take the leash off. Leash is off. Now walk around. Walk around, that's right. <laughs> Caesar has been working with Annabelle and Avon on how to be strong pack leaders. Stop. And correct Yoshi's aggressive behavior. <laughs> there we go. For the first time in a year, they've taken Yoshi outside of their apartment and worked with him to socialize with Caesar's pack, but they have not returned to their community dog park. This is the moment of truth. Today, Caesar brings the whole family to the community dog park, where just a few days ago, Yoshi viciously attacked another dog. It's always been a dream for me to bring my family and Yoshi into the dog park, but I'm just so scared. What if Yoshi attack another dog? Right there. Correct. Beautiful. Follow through. You gotta follow through. Sit him down. Yes, ma'am. Very good. And it's actually my first time correcting Yoshi. So, oh, I'm pretty proud of myself that, oh, I did it right. It means that we both learn the same way as what Cecilia taught us. It's teamwork. Yeah, it's teamwork. <laughs> See, when you do a proper correction, the brain stays there because the brain becomes submissive. See how the pack is taking them? Mm. The pack is actually say, well, okay, so it means no harm. Mm. He wants distance, so that's what we get. Mm. With Joshua being locked up for a year, you can still see that he's a little bit unsure in his position at the dog park, but he's gaining confidence every minute. Yeah, yeah. That's good. There you go. Annabelle and Evan has learned a lot, but they also have learned confidence, and they're now behaving like back leaders. Now you know what to do. 
Now you feel more familiar, more comfortable. Beautiful. <laughs> Yay, Yoshi. <laughs> The couple must take the final step and remove Yoshi's muzzle. Caesar enters the park to supervise. The last time Yoshi had his muzzle off in the dog park, he attacked. Time to take the muzzle off. Time to remove the yeah. muzzle. Although we expect that the final step is to remove the muzzle when he's in his calm state, at that moment, I actually did feel a bit scared. There you go. Go for a walk. When I saw him walking towards the other dogs, I got extremely excited because what I thought was impossible became reality. And for Avon and Annabelle, you could feel a load off their back and they felt at peace. We walked a few rounds the dog run without Caesar, just the two of us, and Yoshi without the muzzle on. Wow, we did it and it went well. So this becomes his memory. The last thing he did was to be free in a dog park where his humans now are calm and confident of what to do. Today is really a very wonderful day because previously it's always me watching from the window, uh, watching from afar. Ah, it's, it's really a great relief and it's a great joy that I managed to bring him in. And it's really a dream come true. Jay, what do you think? What do you think, Jay? This? Yeah. Magical. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. From what I saw, Yoshi felt he could be a dog again because he was just going around exploring other dogs, other environment. And I think the most priceless moment was really seeing Annabelle and Evan smile so happily. How are you feeling? Great. Yeah? Awesome. It doesn't get no better than that. Now all the dogs in our community can socialize together including Annabelle, Ivan, and Yoshi. Yes! Yes! Your wish come to oh, yes! <laughs> Today is a big day for Yoshi and the family, Annabelle, Avon, the baby. This is pretty much what they wanted, you know, especially Annabelle, to see her dog interacting with other dogs. And so they have done an amazing job and, and they have really have learned to move forward to live in the moment, and that's one thing that I'm very proud of. Look at that. In the sunset, disappearing in this beautiful place. Don't look at the dog. Look at your wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Viewers should consult a professional before adopting any of the training techniques in this program. Any activity you do with your dog is at your own risk and may produce varied results. Tonight on Caesar 911, Caesar's in Singapore. Are you ready for Caesar Milan? On a mission to teach dog owners how to be leaders of their pack. Coming up, Caesar takes on a couple so scared of their dangerous dog. You never know when you snap. They've locked him in their apartment for a year. Yoshi is like a prisoner. Yoshi, stop it! Almost like he lives in a cave. What happens to this dog when Caesar sets him free? If Caesar cannot fix Yoshi, I don't know who else can. Will he be a prisoner redeemed? Hey, that's better. Or a terror set free? Hey! This is Caesar 911. Today, Caesar is called to the scene of a crime a neighborhood dog park where a local dog launched a vicious attack. He meets with whistleblower Jay, the dog owner's neighbor. Hi, Caesar. How are you, man? I'm doing good. Welcome to Singapore. Thank you. So, how can I help you? Yes, um, as you notice, our neighborhood, our yeah. 
dog park. We have a community of dog lovers and I have a neighbour yeah. and her dog is aggressive. He's pretty dangerous. The first time that I met Yoshi, over at the dog park, he was really lunging and uh, snarling and barking. So it seems that he's pretty aggressive. And that's um, dangerous. Because you never know when uh, he will snap and probably injure one or kids in the neighborhood. Over at the dog park, I saw him with other dogs. But my neighbor saw that, they immediately pulled him back and I haven't seen him since. As far as I know, Yoshi has not left the apartment for more than a year. I think currently, Yoshi is like a prisoner. And frankly, I wonder what kind of life is it for a dog? That was pretty shocking to me to know that uh, a poor little dog who has not gone outside for a year. Almost like he lives in a cave and he doesn't have any social skills. What he's been told is to fear the world. It just makes me happy looking at all the dogs roaming around and I want Annabelle and Yoshi and Evan with their baby to be able to join us here mm -hmm. every day. In order to observe their dog Yoshi's behavior, Caesar has arranged for Annabelle and Evan to walk Yoshi out of their apartment for the first time in a year while Caesar watches. Now we're gonna see where the owners are. Caesar has his assistant walk by to see how Yoshi responds. We got Yoshi uh, when he was a puppy. It's really love at first sight when we saw him. And the day when we brought him home, it was the best moment in my life because I've always wanted to have a pet. And he, he's just the perfect one. When Yoshi was six months old, we realized that uh, Yoshi seems to be different. Uh, he's no longer as friendly towards my family. And when I brought him out for a walk, he also starts to bark at uh, whoever he meets. Yoshi, stop it! And even want to charge at them, especially other dogs. When we try to pull him back, uh, he, he will turn around and bite us. When we first brought Yoshi to the dog park, he tried to attack many dogs. Uh, and we were forced to leave the dog park. I don't know how to tame him. I don't know how to manage him. So I have no choice but to lock him up in the house. Yoshi hasn't been out of our apartment for a year. I can't describe how heartbreaking it, it is for me. We have a baby boy, his name is Adas, and he is 10 months old. Adas is not crawling yet, but uh, he may start to crawl any moment from now. And I'm afraid that once he starts to crawl, Yoshi may treat him like another dog and start to attack him. I always imagine that perfect moment in my mind. The four of us going out together and having fun together. But I don't know when would that ever happen. So sorry. Put the leash down, it's all right, it's all right, I did it. You have to learn to put the leash in it properly. I would say that most leashes and collars are used incorrectly. So I like to use my sleep collar because it's easier to put all the way on top of the neck and doesn't put any tension and allows me to guide the dog at ease. Okay, here, show you how to walk a dog. You're, you're walking a dog like this, so you're pretty much have like a gun, right? So you're setting him up to go and attack people. When you hold the leash with tension, that tension travels to the leash, which triggers the brain, which that's what causes the dog to attack. 
Go over there, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to be you, and you're going to be me. All right. Okay? Todd, go back. Caesar has his assistant, Todd, repeat his walk past Yoshi to demonstrate to the owners how to walk by without incident. So here, he's already out of the house. So let's move forward. So here's the guy right here. I'm gonna choose this way, look. So instead of me putting myself against the wall and putting my dog in front of the other human and then pull back, which that makes my dog protect me, I just did this. Most people walk like this. The dog's in front, the human is in the back, and they're pulling the leash, or they grab the leash like this. See, this is tension, look at This is relaxation. Yeah, it's not barking. That's right. Good news is you don't have an aggressive dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the good news. You don't have an aggressive. What you have is a dog that is unsure. Yoshi is unsure because he never had a pack leader that teach him how to behave. When Yoshi had that fight at the dog park, nobody told him no, that that was wrong. They locked him up in the apartment for a year like he was in prison without any knowledge of how to be in the outside world. I'd be scared and confused too. Yeah. So every time he misbehaved, you walked away. Yeah. Right. And when we don't know what to do, sometimes we, we choose the wrong reaction, which mm. is flight, right? We are, we are running away from the situation and start confronting the situation, right? What Annabelle and Avon have done in the past is they just completely avoid or they run away from Yoshi's problem. But they actually have to confront these problems when it happened, otherwise Yoshi will never get better. I want them to start small. I just want them to stay calm. I want them to pass my assistant, just like I told them. Your turn. Okay, stay calm. That's right. Go ahead. Without any alcohol or anything. You know? okay. <laughs> alcohol makes you relax, but too relaxed. <laughs> I was still very nervous, your shoe would bite Caesar's assistant. But I tried to remember what Caesar taught me. If I relax the leash, then I relax and Yoshi relaxes. Beautiful. That's it. Don't you feel relaxed? Look at the yeah, smile. I feel That's relaxed. right. I feel sort of confidence because I know he's calm. That's amazing. Yep. Dogs are amazing. That's why I work with them. <laughs> <laughs> Human doing <doing> sometimes. <laughs> oh, sometimes. that's so wonderful. Yes. You are physically controlling, now mentally. Now you have the mind. Mm. So the body follows. So even if you have a 300-pound dog, if you put the leash there and your energy that way, you control the whole entire body. Caesar taught Annabelle how to stay calm with no tension on the leash and walk by his assistant successfully. And Avon does just as well. That's right, you're in control, that's better. See the difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's when, you, that's when you give affection. Absolutely, you should be very proud of that. Annabelle and Avon did really good passing Todd. Now I need to see how they do around other dogs. Yoshi, you ready, buddy? I'm going to introduce you to Singapore. Okay, let's go. Let's take them. Yes. Caesar pushes Annabelle and Avon to confront their fears and bring Yoshi outdoors for the first time in an entire year. He brings them to the place they fear most, the community dog park. One year ago, at this same park, Yoshi attacked <laughs> and has been locked in their apartment ever since. We didn't know what to expect because yeah. uh, it's been a year since we brought Yoshi out, so we were quite nervous. Hey. 
Hey, right there. That's not allowed. What is allowed for him to look at them? That's what is allowed. So you stay right here. I want you to stay here. Yeah? We were scared because he might fight another dog. Annabelle and Avon's dog Yoshi has been locked in their apartment for a year. Since he attacked a dog at their local dog park, Caesar makes immediate progress with the couple around humans. Beautiful, that's it. But wants to see how Yoshi behaves around other dogs. He brings Yoshi and the couple outdoors for the first time in a year. Back to the dog park where Yoshi first attacked. At that moment, my heart just stopped because my greatest worry seems to happen. He bites another dog. Joshi went after the poodle. I need to correct him immediately so he knows that was wrong. What a foot tap is, is a light touch. What it does is it snaps the brain and the body from an aggressive state. This is not a hard touch. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to snap a dog's brain from an unwanted state. The owner's never really correcting him in this situation, and that's why he's still acting out. So what I gotta do now is follow through, get him into a calm submissive state, otherwise he will never learn. Hold on. Stop. The attack looked bad, but it gave me the opportunity to correct Joshi. Once I snapped the brain out of his aggression, I followed through by sitting him down and waiting until he gives me total calm submission. Then I nurse